You know what I like to do when I've tested positive for COVID? I like to look at some baseball cards. And today, even though I'm sounding so wonderful, I'm going to go over a very significant purchase I made from the same gentleman that sold me that very, very large Greenberg Relic lot. So that was obviously our first purchase, our first deal. And then we waited a little, once that was done, I received everything, they were paid. Then we started working on other players. So the next two players I asked if he had any cards of were Arnovich and Danny, not really expecting much to come of it. And to my surprise, he did have some. And he sent me some pictures and I saw all the usual cards I was expecting to see. 39 Gaudi, 40 Gaudi, 41 Gaudi, all of those cards. But there were four that I really was not expecting to see. So I'm gonna go over first the two Danning pieces that I purchased. And then second, the two Arnovich pieces I purchased. And hopefully I don't cough up a storm while doing it. So let's start with this little piece. So this is 2012 five star booklet, obviously. I already have it in the 360 mag because they fit booklets very nicely and it's easier to store. But this particular one is the one of one cut auto. Not the greatest cut, obviously, but it's still a one of one. And I certainly did not have that. And I don't believe there's any other um, numbered versions of this particular card. I think it was a one and done deal for damning in 2012 five star. So either if you wanted damning, you pulled the one on one or you didn't pull anything. And now on the vintage side, something that doesn't come up often and I've lost at least one, if not two auctions on this one. And that's the 1936 worldwide gum. And it's actually in very good shape. So definitely will add this to my extensive pile of cards that need to go to SGC, but very, very reasonable prices on those. So I was happy to pull the trigger and get those done. Now the two Arnovich cards, they're both doubles for me, but once I saw that he had them, I had to make a deal on him. He was being reasonable and everything else. I had to try and get these. So the first is another, but my first slabbed one, 1941 Gaudi blue in a PSA 2 miscut. And this does have a mark on the back. So as I said before, these are essentially uh, a dozen slabbed copies from PSA. So being able to have two of them is quite the win for the Arnovich collection. And the last card I really didn't expect. I didn't expect to find the, um, the 41 Gaudi. This one I really didn't expect. So this one has a little damage on the back, 39 play ball, but it is signed on the front. PSA authentic, old slab, but it does have the authentication for the card and the auto. So I'm very happy with that. It was right above the, right up the top or on the side.
So this is actually, I have the Uncle Jimmy Arnim, signed Arnovich 39 play ball, which does not have 39 play ball on it, just authenticated the auto. And I have a raw 39 play ball Arnovich signed. And considering there's only four of these that are designated 39 play ball, I consider that a nice little win too. So that is the haul, much smaller than the last one, but much harder cards to find from the particular seller. And as we speak, I've, I'm behind on discussing um, the some Rosen cards. He's got a nice little lot, a lot of modern stuff, but a few vintage items. Um, none of the really, really hard stuff, but I'll definitely take a look and see if I can make a deal on some or all of those. So that is what I got for you this time around. Until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect. Don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And the more you put into it, and figure out how you want to participate. Whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your peace you'll grow, the more people you'll meet, the more fantastic friendships you'll form. Before I leave you, this is a video response to John Mangini, and I encourage you to enter that contest yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good one, and bye for now.